All right, coaches, this is it. I'm going to give you the, the greatest five-minute special teams drill in the history of mankind, and I'm going to do it in five minutes. So this is the drill we call special forces. We try to run this either first or second period of the day. You're working your entirety of your uh, special team skill guys. Then off the field, you've got your O-line coach working with your O-line. And then you've got another coach working the bags. And this is everyone else that's not involved in the drill. They're working agilities and getting more athletic. You're trying to build elite athletes. So here's the breakdown of the field. We use 50 yards uh, because we do the identical drill as pregame warm-up on Friday night. Uh, you line up, your, uh, you straddle the 40-yard uh, line with your snappers and punters. Uh, on the opposite side, you have your return guys. Uh, what we do with return guys is we're a single uh, return man on, punter, on our SWAT team. So we have ones and twos for varsity and ones and twos for JV. Same thing over here. We're two deep return on kick return. So we have our ones and twos for varsity and our ones and twos for JV. Uh, hopefully you have a... Uh, a varsity snapper punter and a JV snapper punter. Same thing on this side. Over here, what makes this a little bit different is we're using the kickoff, the, uh, the, the extra point tee, the field goal tee. So you have a, a center, a holder, and a kicker, center, holder, kicker. Again, hopefully you got varsity and JV. Sometimes that's the same kid. We got to flop them or flop them by days flopping by because this is an everyday drill. So sometimes by minutes, sometimes by days, usually by days. So uh, punts lined up on the 40. Uh, uh, kickoff, which is actually our field goal, is lined up on the 20. They're kicking across the field. Uh, it's a five minute drill. It's one plus four. So you've got a coach down on each side. You've got, this takes six coaches to make this happen. I recommend you use your baseball coach right here. I, I put our baseball coach here this year and uh, something about the baseball guys, they instantly made these punt returners a lot better. I think he was basically teaching them outfield type techniques, but put your baseball coach right there with the punt return guys if you can. For one minute, they are hand throwing balls to get as many reps as possible. So each coach has two balls. If they're punt, they're underhand throwing as high as they can, working working details of those guys getting under uh, getting under it. On this side, he's throwing it underhand, but he's got the tip of the ball, so then it's rotating end over end, more like a, uh, a kickoff would be. So for, for punters, he's trying to spiral it. For, uh, for kickoff, he's going end over end. One minute, as many reps as possible, and we try to dress these lines up and make it very disciplined because it can get out of whack if you're not on top of it. Now on this end, we're getting our snap, we're getting our snappers and, and uh, holders warmed up. They're snapping balls. Kickers are swinging their legs. They got one minute to be ready to go. Again, this is at the beginning of practice. This is period either one or period two of practice. Then after the one minute's up, I blow the whistle, we got balls in the air, and now they're kicking the balls. And they're going one at a time, working through the progression. Once he catches it, he, uh, he runs it up to the coach, and then he goes to the back of the line, and we roll through it for four minutes. You will get an unbelievable amount of kicks and catches, plus the one minute where you're getting a, probably 20 more catches down here with these guys in just a five minute period. Now, to be honest, when we teach it the first time in the spring, and really we reload it again in the summer, we take 10 minutes for the first week to teach this drill. But after that first week, it's a five minute drill. Uh, one last thing, I got these little dashes right here. We found the easiest way, you need two, four, six, eight balls. The easiest way is to put, uh, line up eight balls on the end line and have the snappers, in, in, uh, the snappers here and the uh, return guys here, they each grab their balls and take it to their station at the beginning of the period. So you don't have to set the field up ahead of time and everyone's got their balls to get through. Once the one minute's over, they, these balls come down here. So you got plenty of balls going. The coaches on this side are responsible for making sure we're alternating the kicks. You don't want, you know, you don't want two punts up in there at the same time as one punt, then the next punt. Same thing over here, one kick, then the next kick. Uh, we, you know, obviously you could put this on a kickoff tee, but we just felt like we were getting more work done, more good work done by kicking it off of a field goal block 
and uh, and just telling them, hey, you're practicing a long field goal, straight ahead field goal, and uh, and now we're getting multiple reps with our can our snap snappers and holders as well. Five minutes, the best special teams drill in the history of mankind. Thank you, coaches. <laughs>